Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, today, today. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Vape Messiah here today at Vape Central. Today we're going to be talking about battery safety and battery tips. What to do, what not to do, and what to look out for when using batteries in a box mod or in a mech mod. So let's get right into it. So in my hand here we have an MXJO and an LG battery. So they look perfectly fine and this is something I want to go over first of all. Right here on this LG it has a scratch so it's exposing the battery itself and on top of that the wrapper around the battery is peeling off and it could leave the battery exposed to the contacts. And from my personal experience, let me tell you a quick little story. When I first started off vaping, I was like, huh, these seals and the wraps around batteries are cool, but it would look dope if I took off the wrap. So that's what I did. I took off the wrap, I threw it in my meth mod. Now I was using it when I was driving and I didn't know, but when I was driving, my mod started firing automatically by itself because I did not have this wrap on. When I pulled over and parked my car, my mod was like fried. My Addy was melted, all the insulators in my mod was completely melted and I really had to get a new mod, a new Addy, and the battery was completely done. So unless you want to ruin your mod and your setup, really watch out for these signs. So this MXJO is perfectly wrapped. There's no marks on the wrapping that's exposing the actual battery to your mod other than arc marks on the battery which you can take polish and cream and polish it off. Um, really what to look for is if there's any battery, the actual battery cell being exposed to your mod. Also when using a mech mod like this one and people sub ohm and sub ohming is vaping at a very low temperature or a very low ohm and what that means is you're doing a super super thick gauge wire or not even a thick gauge wire but it just ohms out to being very low so people do intricate builds such as Clapton's, Aliens and sometimes it ohms out very low and when, when using an unregulated mech mod you want to be careful not to vent out your battery or short circuit your battery then you would be destroying and potentially causing your battery to be fried really or even to vent out which means it would basically explode on you. When looking at what battery is good for purchasing for your personal use it really comes down to what device are you using. So for a mech mod what I personally use are red AWT batteries. They have 3000 mAh and 40A and all 18650 batteries release at 3.7 volts. So what the 3000 mAh means, that's how much energy is stored into the single 18650. And 40 amperage means how much electricity this is capable of pushing through into your build. So when using a box mod, this is what I'm currently using in my mini kit. I love this little box mod with my Kennedy Gremlin cap dot mod tip green emeralds they have a max output of 40 amperage just like the red awts but they hold more power they are 3200 mAh, which means they hold more power therefore my batteries will last a little bit longer thank you so much for watching make sure your battery safety is up to date if you have any questions or comments comment down below vape safe and thank you so much for watching if you want to watch more of our videos you can click here and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much